In the previous video, we had an overview of the linked list data structure. Starting this video, let's look at the implementation. Now there is quite a bit to implement, so we're going to do this across several videos. In this video, we're going to implement the node class and the linked list class with the constructor and is empty method. We will look at insertion, deletion and search operations in the upcoming videos. Alright, let's start with the node class. In the previous video, I mentioned that each node contains a data value and a pointer to the next node in the list. When it's isolated, a node contains the data value and the next pointer pointing at null. Let's begin by translating this into code. I'm back here in replit with index.js. We're going to represent each node with a class that can be instantiated whenever a new node has to be added to the list. So class node. We're going to add a constructor to initialize the node value. Constructor accepts value as a parameter and we are going to assign this to a property called value. This dot value is equal to value. Apart from value, we also need a next pointer that points at null when the node is created. So this dot next is equal to null. This pretty much is our node class. We will see this in action when we learn how to add a new node to the list in the next video. Once the node class is defined, our next task is to define the linked list class itself. Class linked list. Let's go back to the slide where we have a list of three nodes. Now to work with a linked list, we always maintain a pointer to the first node in the list. That pointer is called head and is crucial to almost every operation we perform on a linked list. However, when a link is empty, there is no first node to point at and hence the head pointer will point at null. So back in replit, we're going to define the constructor with this dot head is equal to null. When you instantiate a new linked list, it is empty and head will point at null. Apart from head, we're also going to maintain a size property to track the number of nodes in the list. So this dot size is equal to zero. Whenever we add a new node, we will increment the value and when we remove a node, we will decrement the size value. That is our constructor. Next, let's define two simple methods on the linked list class. First is the isEmpty method, which dictates if the list is empty. Return true if this dot size is equal to zero. The next method is the getSize method, which returns the number of nodes in the list. And this is a straightforward implementation. Return this dot size. All right, let's now test to make sure the two methods work as expected. We begin by creating a new instance of the linked list class. Const list is equal to new linked list. Next, on the list, we invoke both the methods. Console log list is empty. This is going to be the output of list.is empty. And console log list size. which is going to be list.getSize. If we run the code, we see the list is empty to be true and the size is zero. 
both the methods work as expected. All right, we have now set ourselves up to focus on the various list operations. Let's start with adding new notes to the list in the next video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.